I tried to use my dryer this morning and it wouldn't come on. And this is a Whirlpool. It's a very easy fix. So the first thing you want to do is take off the back side. There's one, two, three, three little bolts. They're a quarter inch. Okay, right here. And so one, two, three, three on the other side. You got two of them right here. Okay. Okay, you see I got it off and see this little flap here, right here, that just covers the wire, that's all that is. And so the cover, get the plug out of the way, move the cover off to the side. And uh, you can just take this off right here, set that down. Move the cover off to the side. And the common thing that happens every now and then is the fuse goes out. So here's the where the dryer vent is that would the line would plug in. And then right here is the fuse held on by one quarter inch head. Now be sure to unplug the dryer every time you work on it. So I'm just using this. These bolts aren't very tight. And uh, it just comes right off. Okay, and see, just unplugs right there. See, unplug, just unplug, and plugs in. And this is the new one right here. And so you just put it right back in there and screw it. And um, one screw holds it. Very simple. See there it is. That's a. It's actually it's a fuse. They go out every now and then. And um, here's the old one. See, it's not like a round fuse like you would typically see. There's the one screw hole. And I went to the store, bought the replacement part. So you see, uh, Whirlpool Corporation factory certified parts. Uh, part number WP3392519. This cost $16. Easy fix. And so, again, this is the old one right there. That's actually a fuse. Okay, another thing before you unplug this, you want to remember which wire goes on the top, which one goes on the bottom. Okay, so you have a top and bottom wire. I just bend the top wire to the top, kind of fold it in these wires so you automatically know it plugs into the top and leave the bottom one just dangle. And so um, we'll go ahead and do a little test. Okay, I got it plugged in. Just gonna do a little test. Yep, works just fine. Going good. Turn it off. Now I'm going to unplug it, always have it unplugged, because I'm going to put it back together and just kind of fit this over like that, put the wire on here, and then put your bolts back on, and uh, you can definitely put this cover back on here, and uh, See how the cover goes on this. You see the little hole right there. It's on the machine itself. Let me get a little closer. And uh, my finger, my finger is right on top of that little slot. This slides in like that. And then see how it screws up. That's where a screw goes there. I just put it all back together. So a $16 fix, very easy. If you have this problem, Whirlpool, that's all you gotta do. Have a nice day.